Hi guys, we're back for the cut of Black Dragon Soap. I decided that's what I'm going to call it. So, there it is. So far so good. Just going to push it out of the mold. This recipe is actually easier to get my soaps out. My pink grapefruit has more soft oils in it. And, oh, it's a pain to get out of this mold. Remember that little plop at the bottom? See? It did show up. But look how nice and shiny and black that is. Okay. Let's cut this puppy. Oh, I'm happy with that. A little soft. So I don't know. I usually cut off the worst end. And I think this is it right here. I hope my stuff doesn't slide everywhere. That happens all the time when I cut this end slice. Look, and I always cut it crooked. I want a cutter so badly. So badly I want one. And my husband said he'd make me one, and then he tried. But I was like, look, it's too wobbly. That'll never work. It'll still be crooked. I am way too hard to please. Seriously. Look at that mess I just made. Typical, but welcome to my life. Okay, and I usually cut one inch bars and I usually eyeball it. What it's supposed to be, but my bars are never straight. I kind of like it. I kind of do. I wanted it. Just straight. Red and black is what I want. Well, not, it's like, like I said in the video, it's a rust. And I love that rust red against the black. I think it just, I don't know, it's special. I like it. And that divider worked perfectly. Worked absolutely perfectly. Oh, move my cloth. And the smell is so delicate and nice. I actually like this a lot more than I thought I did. Now that it's actually in bar form, I'm, I'm liking it. So this is obviously one of those boring cuts where you know what to expect with every single bar. Because there's no unexpected fancy swirls. And I'll be upset if there's anything unexpected in this. Just trying to bring that up because you can see those little imperfections that show up, you know, kind of really get on your nerves. Oh, I cracked the bottom off. See? Oh, okay. Stay cool. Gotta stay cool. And my pink grapefruit, I'll be cutting today too. I threw it in the freezer because otherwise it'll take me like four days to unmold and I don't have that kind of patience. Why is my bottom cracking? I didn't use that much sodium lactate but that's enough to kind of and that one looks pregnant. Looks a teeny bit pregnant but nowhere near as pregnant as my other bars. I'll have to sh when I cut my pink grapefruit I'll pull out one of my beer soaps that I made and you'll see what I mean by a very pregnant soap. Maybe I should have a line totally devoted to pregnant women and say, here, here's a soap that matches how you feel. Because I can assure you, it's not fun. When you hit your seventh, eighth month, being pre pregnant, it, it loses its appeal. It does. And I think anyone who's really honest will agree. <laughs> it's, it's not fun anymore. You just want it over with. You start asking your friends to take you for rides down roads that have big potholes. Oh, yeah. With my second, he was two weeks late, and that's exactly what I did. I asked my friend to take me to Winnipeg to this particular road. If you live in Winnipeg, you know the one in St. Boniface by the mushroom plant there? 
I think anyone in Winnipeg knows that road. Yeah, I got her to drive me up and down that road, and I said, hit every pothole. And I went into labor the next day, the next morning. Don't know for sure if it was the road, but I think it was. I kind of like this. Like, I can see my little drag mark from cutting, but I kind of like this. I wanted it to be simple, but I wanted a clean line. Why is my bottom cracking? You know what? I should have skipped the sodium lactate on this one. There's enough hard butters in it to give me a nice solid loaf. Okay, note to self. I'm going to cut this one. And this tall and skinny mold gives me eight one inch bars. And they're slightly under an inch just for the fact that I usually end up cutting off an end. Okay, that one is so crooked. So crooked. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's me, all right. You can always tell when I'm cutting a soap. But you know, like that, you go, oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. This was handmade. So there we have it. My black dragon soap that smells like sandalwood and spice. Very soft though. Not the kind of cloying incense smell that you know, just makes you go, Bleh. it's just too strong. I'm choking on it. It's actually quite nice. I don't like that little, see that? And that? Tell me not to go crazy over those. I have to try not to go crazy over stuff like that. Okay, so there's my cutting. And in about 10 minutes, I'll be cutting my pink grapefruit and I'll upload that one too. Maybe I'll, no, I won't upload them together. No, that might be too confusing. Okay, so I'll make a separate video of that. But there we go. There's the end. I'll trim these up and clean them up later. Do all the edges and make them all nice and pretty. So thanks for watching and coming back for the cut. I know it's kind of a pain to watch the video and then wait for the cutting video. But I am not messing around with a video editor. It doesn't come with my computer. I've had nothing but problems with the one I did download. So unfortunately, you're stuck having to click on a separate video to see the cut. But you still get to see it. Thank you for cutting a pink grapefruit.